Hi guys, and today I'm back with three designs for you today. And I painted these for the A to Z nail art challenge on Instagram. And if you haven't heard of them before, I'd recommend checking them out. The challenge is so fun. I painted all of these before Christmas, so I'm glad to finally be making a tutorial out of them. So, I hope you enjoy. So in alphabetical order, we'll start with Q, and the theme was quilted. And I debated on doing the matte quilted nails, but I really wanted to give the patchwork quilt another go. I tried it a few years ago, but they were sort of a mess. Before I painted any of my nails, I used my Magic Workshop mat from Modi London to decide which six patterns and colour combinations I wanted to use for the individual little squares of the patchwork. And I decided to go for blues, whites and grey tones, as well as florals and stripes and dots. I was going for that Kath Kidson sort of vibe. Uh, I'm only showing you how I painted my middle finger, otherwise I'll be here all day showing you how I did each nail. And this did take some time to paint. And the first thing I did was paint my middle finger with a medium blue shade. Then with my Moe London Trend Hunter 27 plate, it's this awesome plaid stamping plate, I stamped the plaid image with a light grey stamping polish, and then I stamped that directly onto my nail. As you can see, the stamp wasn't large enough to cover my whole nail, but that's not a problem with this design. To protect our stamping, I applied a layer of smudge resistant top coat, and I waited between 15 and 20 minutes for that to dry. Then with a striped nail vinyl from Twinkle Teen, I placed it down the middle of my nail to create the next patchwork square. I then painted the left side with a lighter blue than the one I'd already used. And while the polish was still wet, I removed the vinyl to create a straight line. And then once the polish had dried, I used my Moe London Flower Power 29 stamping plate and a medium grade polish, I stamped the floral pattern and I stamped that onto the left side of the nail, the little square we just created. Then, same as before, once that had dried, I applied a layer of smudge resistant top coat and I waited for another 15-20 minutes. Then back with two striping vinyls, I placed one along the centre of my nail, uh, vertically, and then I placed the second one horizontally across the middle of my nail. And this gave me a small square to paint in the right hand corner of my nail. And I painted that with the same light grey that I used to stamp the plaid at the beginning. Again, while the polish is still wet, I removed the vinyls in reverse order that I applied them. And then with another blue stamping polish and the flower power plate, I stamped another of the flower patterns. And I stamped that on that lower right corner we created. Now the next time I skipped the top coat and I painted the lower left side with a white polish, just with the brush. And then once that was dried, I used my Moe London Pro 01 plate and a dark blue stamping polish and I stamped the stripes. And then I stamped that on that white square. Then with black acrylic paint, I painted the outlines of the square, which I did by painting a line down the middle of my finger and across my nail. And then I made small brush strokes as little stitches, so the mani looked like it had been sewn together. And to seal this in, I applied a layer of smudge resistant top coat. And there you go, my quilted design. Which took me ages to paint, but I think it does look cool. Uh, but I do wish I used a really dark blue instead of black for the thread. So the next design was R, and the theme was Russian Dolls. And I was so excited to get to use my Moe London Taurus 13 plate, which has all these cute little Russian designs on it. So I started off with painting my middle and ring fingers with Don't Tell a Soul, which is a bright yellow from the OPI Mexico City collection. And it self levels in three coats. And then with that plate and a blue stamping polish, I stamped the large Russian dolls, the two of them. And leaving them on the stamper, I painted both of the faces with a light nude polish. And then I filled in the details with a red coral polish. Leaving them aside to dry, I applied a layer of sticky base coat. And then once the decals had dried, I just stamped that onto my middle and ring fingers. Next I painted my index and pinky fingers and I painted them with two layers of my Chihuahua Doesn't Bite Anymore which is from the same OPI collection as the last polish 
and I love this colour, it just gives me summer vibes. Next with my Moe London Porcelain 03 plate and the same blue polish, I stamped the cute little flower design. And again, leaving that on the stamper, I filled it in with the same yellow polish. And after a layer of sticky base coat on my nails and the decals were dry, I stamped them on my nails. And then I finished off the design with a layer of smudge resistant top coat. There you go, my Russian doll nails. My last design is for S and the theme was C. And for this I knew the star of this tutorial would be this polish called REM from Cert Colours. So I started off with painting my middle and ring fingers with a bright blue and this is Genie in a bottle from Moe London. Then with Cosmos and my Sailor 18 plate, both from Moe London, I stamped the two wave patterns. And then leaving them on the stamper, I filled in the waves with REM. It's a gorgeous dark blue with a green shimmer and a scattered hollow glitter. And once that dried, I applied a layer of sticky base coat. And then once the decals had dried and the base coat was tacky, I stamped them on my middle and ring fingers. Uh, for the index and pinky fingers, I just simply painted them with three coats of REM, because it looks like the C anyway. <laughs> Finishing off this mani, I applied a layer of glossy top coat. my three designs i hope you like them if you do give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe subscribe will be good and leave a comment below please telling me which is your favorite and i'd also love to know if there's anything you want me to try on my channel such as nail art techniques or hacks or trends thank you so much for watching bye